So hello everyone, I am Hitesh. So today's video is all about if else statement in Python. So I am going to say how I learned if else statement in Python and how it is easy to use. So you know, you need a computer with a good internet connection and a good developing environment in Python. So if we have these three things, you know, Python will be so easy. So let's start. So first, um, in Python actually, uh, if else statement is so easy that you can learn it in just one day. So it's so easiest um, concept. So you have to remember it, or you could understand it too. So let's go into the video. So that so it's nothing but you know uh, first um, you should have some good IDE or uh, like a developing environment. So let's go. So here. So if a statement is like true or false statement that can be used in various languages such as JavaScript, C++, in this Jupyter Notebook also, uh, in Python, so various. So so now let's start. Now uh, first you need to know about how to declare a variable here. So a variable can be from A to Z, an alphabet, but if you add, if you give it some value and if you print that alphabet, you get that value. Okay. Now let's go. Now um, just uh, give a value to a variable uh, such as b is equal to 2. Then now print this b. Okay. See, you get 2, right? So this is how you do in Python. So now um, let's go to if statements. So if statement is nothing but um, same thing, but the starting should be the must such as um, declaring a value to a variable such as a equal to 5 uh, z equal to you could add any variable to any value okay so it's infinity 2 so let's load this function in this cell so before starting i would say that um, many ids that id is there in python that is um, pycharm id then jupyter notebook 2 it can be accessed through anaconda navigator it is free now so you could download it but jupyter is so easy that uh, every cell and every command will be so easy to in result so um, you could try that in uh, i love this jupyter notebook so you need to try this that's how it uh, works very perfectly so we have loaded this function i loaded it and now if it's like true or false statement right so let's see if a is bigger than z print print actually in python um you could um, print any command with uh, single quotes or double quotes so that's the most uh, good part in python so now um print um ah, just put uh, any other commands like hey um python is so easy okay python is so easy <laughs> simple command so the truth is a is actually less than z that such as phi is actually so oh, sorry phi is actually bigger than 2 so that's how i have given in this part so let's run this function see hey python is so easy so python doesn't recognize this print uh, uh, this print line it only recognizes if this statement is true or false that's all like a is bigger than z we have loaded the function so uh, of course phi phi is bigger than 2 right so i have written it here um, a is bigger than z so now so that's how it came up so now um, you will see another uh, equation uh, another program also so b equal to 5 c equal to 6 okay. let's load this function so if b is bigger sorry b is lesser than c print Less than C. So 
so now let's run it and you get that so this is the answer okay okay now this is um, this is the answer because um, we get it right b equal to 5 and c is equal to 6 and of course b is lesser than c such as 5 is really lesser than 6 so this one right now okay of course b is uh, less than c so i have written a simple command so it had printed so now let's see if else statement so if else statement is something like uh, if else statement is something like um, the same thing a equal to 4 b equal to 3 let's load this function or you could um, continue from here if oh if a is um, bigger than b okay let's try a is lesser than b so that's a false statement right let's try it okay. print we'll see which gets printed okay so hi uh, okay let's try it but 4 is less than 3 okay so this is a false statement we know but python if we run this function it will give us an error right so that's there an else statement so we can write else it's an opposite of if okay so it would uh, take it like that also but you uh, in else statement you, you sh uh, no, there's no need of writing a is bigger than b uh, like in here in this command you could continue directly so print print um, a 4 a is a, a is bigger than b okay let's run this function and see we got printed and it does so a is bigger than c oh so a is big, bigger than b and that's got printer here and that's the truth also so now we'll see about if elif statement with if else also so we'll try here that is um same thing uh, you could write s yes equal to 3 33 b equal to 43 okay or let's try 33 which is equal to right so now uh, take a double space and um, if yes is lesser than b print print um, yes 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 is lesser than b okay so next is l if so l if is like um else if okay or it is the equal to command so s equal to equal to b print mm, yes is equal to equal to b or both are equal you could write any command but python doesn't recognize that but python only recognize this statement here yeah, if the top command alone. so after that print it doesn't recognize i'm just saying so else um just print oh, that's a long function this is bigger than bigger than b who cares but the answer would be elif so this is how it turns so what it says is um actually since yes is equal to b it has printed this function so this function so 
now let's try it again uh, and uh, if elif uh, statement alone like uh, you need to get practice you know coding is something that you have to sit for five hours and uh, oh, five hours yeah five hours and uh, you have to practice how much ever you practice coding how much uh, that much level you get to understand about it so now let's uh, If A uh, equal to equal to B, you could try anything else. Brand and um, A is equal to B. So why elif command is used? So elif command is used for when you use if and else statement and if the value is equal to the next variable. Oh, sorry the very if the very if the two variables are equal so uh, you have used if else statement and elif is there for showing that command so that's all so if I, uh, you know it's a simple concept you can understand easily so there elif Okay, anything it should get mm, the Python doesn't recognize that, right? Then we uh, let's do that. Okay, now let's ah, uh, now let's run this cell, and we get we get the the truth is phi is bigger than b, and I have written here, but don't get confused with the print function here. Okay, just see this. This line itself, it's all okay. So that's how uh, if a statement works. So we could try some uh, if el uh, if else within if else, okay, like nested if else statement, okay, like a equal to 4, b equal to 6, okay. Uh, if if a is if a is bigger than b. Print print um, a equal to a is uh, bigger than b. A simple command, right? So now here comes this. Oh, actually, uh, I need to leave some four spaces. Like in Python, you have to leave four spaces. So um, that's how it works. If you didn't leave, it gives us an error. So you have to leave four spaces. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, now let's write a uh, else statement. Write a uh, print. Uh, nope. A is lesser than than B. Okay. So this is how it comes. So now here you could try some if else statement 2 so here again if uh, in else okay in else statement itself you could try if um, a is equal to equal to b okay print uh, that's what print a is equal to b okay so now let's change the first equation or else it will give us as an error bigger than or you have to write lesser than and here you could 
and this is it and here you have to change this line uh, okay so now let's run this function it gives us so so what's the use of nested if else statement so nested if else statement is like a if you don't get any other um, values okay if you, you neither get if nor else you can you can have a chance of getting this statement like you know if I if I give 6 and if I run the cell I get this function okay so that's how nested if else statement works so guys this is all if else statement total hashtag 1 in python so this is my video if, right so if you like this video like and share to your friends who love coding and subscribe to you and I would see bye